You want to be unsinkable in the storm? The first point is never allow your storm to cause you to forget what God has already done. You are precious and valuable to God in the eyes of God. You're not some sinner. You are saved, praise God. You're not some low light. No, not no more. You may have been, but you're not that anymore. You are a blood-bought child of God. Amen. You are a priest mm -hmm. of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. And point number two is never allow your storm to cause you to fear. Never allow your storms to cause you to fear. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, we all know this, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but he gave us love, power, and self-control or sound mind in some translations. Amen. So don't allow yourself to become agitated or terrified in the anticipation or in the presence of danger. Never fear, brothers and sisters. Fear is simply false evidence appearing real. Amen. It's just simply false evidence appearing real. Fear in the spiritual realm is a useless emotion. Fear will cause you to draw back. Fear will paralyze you. Fear will make a punk out of you. Mm. Fear will put you to flight and cause you to miss God. Mm. Fear is a smoke screen. Fear will cause you to sink in your storm. So don't ever be afraid of uncertain conditions. Don't ever be afraid of other people. And don't ever be afraid of demonic forces because you have authority over all three of them. And yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Isaiah 41, chapter, uh, chapter 41, verse 10, in the Amplified, it says, Fear not. There is nothing to fear, for I am with you. First of all, let's stop right there. Fear not. Fear not. Why? Because God got your back. Mm -hmm. God is your helper. God is your deliverer. God is your way maker. God is your answerer. Praise God. God is your shepherd. God is your guide. Amen. Amen. He will lead you. Amen. Into good paths. Into still paths. Into paths of rest. Into paths of prosperity. Into paths of goodness for all the days of your life. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not look around you in terror or be dismayed, for I am your God. Money is not your God. Other people are not, it's, it's, uh, it's, other people are not your God. Amen? Amen? Things are not your God. Right. Your abilities are not your God. Right. Amen? Your status, your education, your, your, your parents, all, none of that is your God. There is no reason to fear because all of those things can be here today and can gone be gone tomorrow. tomorrow. But God is the God. Yes. From, 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 yes. From the, he's the ancient of days. He's the Alpha and the Omega. There is no yes. beginning to him. There is no end. So when all things are God, gone, there'll be me and there'll be God. There'll be you and there'll be God. Yes. There's no need to fear because God got your back. He's got your front. He's got your side. He's got your pocketbook. He's got you in his hand. Praise yes. God. 